Right, now we're going to start our bobble stitch. And um, bobble stitch is one of my favourite stitches, so I'm going to really enjoy showing you this one. So we're going to do a chain one to start, and then we're going to turn our work round. And when you work a bobble stitch, you actually work on the back of your work, and then the bobble pops out and is on the right side. So we've done our chain once, we've done our turning chain. First stitch is a double crochet. So we're going to do our double crochet. And now we're going to use trebles. So you've already been practicing trebles, so this should be nice and easy. We're going to do a treble. We're going to pull the yarn through, and we're going to pull through two. And this is where it changes. We're going to start another treble, and we're going to go under the two loops, pull through, and pull through again. And we're going to start another treble and go under the two loops and pull through, yarn through two. At the moment we've got four loops on the hook and we want to do one more, all into the same stitch and pull through two. And we've now got five loops on the hook and then we put yarn round and we pull through all five and that's our very first bobble stitch. So bobble stitches sound a bit frightening, but they're not at all. And they just give a great effect, add great texture. So now we're going to go to the next stitch and just do a double crochet. So one, and we're going to go into the next one and do another double crochet. So in between each bobble, we're working double crochets. So let's start that bobble again. So yarn round hook into the stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn round, pull through two. Then we stop that treble and we start another treble. And we're going through and we pull through two loops. And then we start again, yarn round, all into the same stitch, pull through. And we've got four loops on the hook, so we know we've just got one more to do. Yarn round, pull through, and we've got five loops on the hook. So yarn round and we'll pull through all of those stitches. And then if you remember, it's two double crochet in between. And then let's do one more bobble. So we're going to go through two, go to yarn round, push through again, pull through, yarn round through two. So we're working all this into one stitch, push through, and pull through two. We've got four stitches on our hook. Yarn round, under, and pull through. And then we do our last, pull through there. So we've got our five stitches. Yarn round, pull through two. And then we'll do two double crochets. Whoops, nearly dropped my needle. So I'm just going to turn the work round because I'm sure you're dying to see what the bubbles look like. And you can see we've got these lovely bobbles which give great texture to our work. So I will carry on to the end of the row and meet you there. Right, so I've got to the end of my row and I've got one stitch left, so make sure you have as well, and that is a double crochet. So I hope you've enjoyed doing that row. Now we're going to do one chain and turn around. Now if you remember, I said when we work the bobble, we have to be doing it on the back of our work. So in between each row of bobbles, we need to do a row of double crochet. So we miss the first chain out, as always, that's our turning chain. And then we're going to go to the first stitch and do one double crochet. Now, when you get to the bobble stitch, if you just turn your work towards you a little bit, can you see, you can very easily see those two loops there, because we don't want to make any stitches. We just want to carry on. So it's under those two loops and it's a double crochet. And then if you remember, we had two double crochets in between each bobble and they're really easy to see. But just sometimes, if you're not careful, you can pick up an extra loop over the bobble. So if you turn the work forward, and there you can see those two loops, and that's the top of the bobble. 
we do a double crochet and then we've got our stitches here and you're just going to work all the way along doing double crochet and then when you get to the end you'll do your turning chain of one and then you can start your next bobble row and hopefully that second row you'll feel much more confident so there we go i'll leave you to finish a double crochet row